Hey, welcome to the Shortwave Radio Channel, and this is another video looking at megahertz by megahertz. What is in the shortwave spectrum? We're going to look at 7 to 8 megahertz, and this is a nice place. 7 to 8 megahertz is where you will find at the bottom, first off, uh, you'll see that we'll be at the 40 meters uh, amateur radio band. So this is one of the very popular amateur bands. It's used a lot. It's, some people prefer this. I think we could probably safely say that, you know, with the 20 meter band, this is another really, really popular band. So of course, it goes from 7,000 to 7,300. The uh, range is also from 7,200 and up, mixed in with international broadcasters. So you will have, of course, at the bottom some uh, Morse code. This is, of course, the bottom of the, the band, as you see here. From there, you will have, of course, also some digital modes just above 7060. An example is a 7074 that has FT8. Um, then you are mostly having above of 7100 some uh, single sideband signals. Uh, the 40 meter amateur band is in lower sideband, so of course that means that the stations you'll hear are going to be, of course, um, in lower sideband mode. You still hear some here. So some amateur activity, of course, it's a, it's a popular band. And there's a lot of stuff happening in the bands. Great band for DXing also. Then, of course, above 7200, it's mixed in with some uh, signals from, uh, there are some signals from uh, international broadcasts. So, for example, here, 7365 is a station. Uh, uh, there's also, um, often in late afternoon, uh, there's a China Radio International 7285. And from 7200, from about roughly 7600, but it's very, very wide. There's a lot of out of band stations actually in here. It's the 40 meter, 41 meters international broadcast band. So some stations are allowed to broadcast here. So for example, 7445, there's a signal right now. I don't know audio really. Uh, so there's a lot of activity, but it also goes very high. Uh, for example, WRMI is 77, uh, so there's a lot of stuff in there that is uh, kind of being a little more expanded than it is in the reality. So. Uh, Listen in, it's one of the bands that's used quite a lot by different international broadcasters. It's uh, one of the places you want to be for sure to listen to signals. And above 7,500 to 8,000, it's also mixed in with a lot of utility signals of all sorts. So um, some of you might hear CHU Canada time signal on 7850, for example. There's a lot of activity of different um, nature of utilities that uh, is really, really worth listening and checking out. So uh, that is something you might want to uh, check out. There's uh, a lot of, uh, I believe 7880 is uh, a frequency where there's uh, some uh, uh, weather facts from time to time. So check it out. It's one of those bands that has a lot to offer and uh, just the 40 meters international 21 meters international broadcast band and the amateur band together are great, great bands already just to listen to. So check it out. It's totally worth it. 7 to 8 megahertz has a lot to offer. It's almost around the clock. The 40 meter amateur band often has, you know, uh, a lot of stations almost around the clock. In the daytime, they'll be closer. So, you know, up to maybe a thousand miles or a thousand kilometers, roughly. Uh, and nighttime, then it becomes really much, much, uh, really, you know, a good DX band. I hear a lot of Europeans. Uh, there was a guy to, uh, an example, a couple of months back, I was following a guy that 
was on 7133 every evening. It was from South Africa. That was nice to listen to. And of course, don't forget the international broadcast band, 7200 to 70. I, get, I would put it up to 7800 because there's a lot of out of band stations. And don't forget because it used to be up to 7100 for the international broadcast. There are some clandestines and some stations that are actually on below 7200 that pop up from time to time uh, from the Middle East, from Africa. But those are um, very often they're clandestines that actually use those frequency ranges. And it's driving some amateur radio operators kind of mad. So listen to that. There's a lot to offer and a lot of stuff in there. 7 to 8 megahertz is one of the places I actually hang around a lot. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching our videos.